Well, good morning. It's about quarter after six. Still pretty foggy this morning. That won't last long. Today's hook bait is spicy sriracha tiger nuts. They're just cooked tiger nuts and I just put um, sriracha sauce and some of the cooking water in there. They've been soaking in here for, I don't know, two, three weeks now. They work good. I've used them. haven't used them that much lately. So that's why I'm using them today. Really, the only hitch with using these, I found, I mean, you get the, the spicy pepper stuff on your fingers, so you got to wash your hands pretty good afterwards. I mean, it'll even burn your skin a little bit. Definitely don't want to be touching your face, though. And this pack bait <clears throat> is just old-fashioned oats, sweet feed pellets, a can of cream corn, and a can of whole kernel corn, and then I've added vanilla. So it's vanilla corny oats, basically. It has a real strong scent of vanilla. And this bait's fresh. I just made this at home before I drove out here. Normally I'm fishing with old bait, because I, re I reuse the bait. In case you didn't know, this kind of pack bait stuff, you don't use it all in one day, just put it in the fridge. It'll keep for a week, no problem. So that's going to be the rig today. Vanilla oats and spicy tiger nut triple stack. I'm going to call it uh, spicy vanilla. That's today's theme. Oh, didn't take long at all. This bait's been in the water less than five minutes. Catching a carp in the fog. That's pretty cool. Seeing that mist on the water, fish coming in. He's right here. He's got some spunk to him. It's a small, lively one. He ain't that small, I guess. Man, this guy just... It's all over the place. Come here. I'm not gonna, let's just make this quick here. This little three or four pound carp gobbled up that uh, spicy tiger nut. All right, I'm not even gonna pick you up. Go on. That's always fun. Get your fish the first five minutes. That's what I love about these tiger nuts. I mean, you can catch fish after fish after fish on the same bait. They're just, they won't come off. Just don't need to reload the bait. See, I don't think that was a carp. I think that's just bass or yellow bass or some nuisance fish grab it onto my line where it enters the water and pulling on it
I get this question pretty frequently, which is uh, how often do I rebate my rigs? And uh, the answer to that is, generally speaking, I rebate every hour. Every hour, I'll reel it in, put on new pack bait, and usually I don't change the hook bait unless it's uh, some kind of bait that uh, kind of washes out real easily and doesn't have much scent left. I might change it up, but usually I just uh, add more pack bait every hour. So if you if you see on one of my videos where I say something like, "Oh, I've been fishing for five hours and f didn't, until I got a bite." Uh, I did not cast once and let it sit there for five hours. I've been rebaiting on average about every hour. No, 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 no. Really? Crazy run like that and then gets away? Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this fish is hooked up. Same line that I had that run on just, uh, I don't know, probably 10, 15 minutes ago. This guy's heading way out in the middle. Usually don't do that. Oh, okay. Got a, got a double going on here. I'm gonna just go ahead and maintain control of this fish that I'm already working with. And uh, maybe that second one might have, I don't know what's happening with that, but what I'd like to do is prevent this fish that I'm fighting right now from getting in that second line, but that's too late. Okay, so now he's in that second line that just took off with a fish. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a mess here. It's a good fight. I don't, I really, I just haven't caught a glimpse of this fish at all. I mean, he's right here in front of me, but just the water is so dirty. I can't, I mean, I don't even know that it's a carp. I mean, I think it is, but I haven't even caught as much a glimpse of a that, it, that I even know for sure that's a carp. Okay, there it is. I just saw his fin come out of the water. Man, this water's so dirty. It's a good fish and he is tangled. fish and he is tangled in my other line. Oh. Yep, okay. He is in the net. And he's just gonna stay right there for the time being. It's like the easiest way to do this might be to just untwist the rods here. This is working. Yes, it worked. <laughs> okay. So the the netted fish is untangled. Let's see if there's still a fish on here. First. Get this fish out. Put him out in the water there. Okay. Let's see if there's still anything on here. No, whatever was on there is long gone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's gnats everywhere. Fish number two. 
of the morning. Not too bad. I'm not going to weigh them. Six, seven pounds probably. It's about 10 after 8 in the morning. It's kind of slow this morning, but I'm not complaining. Let's put them back. Thanks for the fight. Hmm. A quick run and nothing. Okay. Guess I better check the bait and get it back out there. Oh, look at that. The hook is impaled into one of the tiger nuts. Hmm. Well, it's 8.30, been here two hours. The fish just jumped over there. I've been here two hours, I got two fish. So I'm running right at one fish per hour. Not a bad rate, not a bad rate. Uh, I'll stay one more hour. See if I can stay at that one fish per hour uh, rate. I don't know what in the heck just happened there, but I got a fish. I don't know if there's a bunch of slack in the line or what. It is like 8.59. I was telling myself, I didn't get another bite by 9 o'clock, I was going to leave. This is, a, this is a slow cruiser here, what I've got here. Slow cruiser coming in. Not really fighting, just kind of letting me pull them in. That tells me that uh, it's probably not a tiny fish. No. <laughs> I caught a tiny glimpse of him. It wasn't a giant, but it was a real good fish. He got off about 15 feet from the bank here. All right, well, three hours of fishing, two fish. According to my calculations, that is uh, 0.66 fish per hour. And uh, why is that number important? It's not. It's not at all important. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.